Hey everyone, this is Stephanie with Market. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your online booking form. To begin, I'm choosing More and then Add-ons. And then on the online booking form itself, I'm going to turn this toggle to On. And then when you're ready, hit Manage and then Edit Booking Plugin. As you can see, I already have a couple different categories with some items already created. You can always alter the way that these are positioned just by dragging and dropping them over each other. The same with the items. If you don't like the way that those are listed, you just drag and drop them over each other. To create a new one, it's very simple. We're just going to do add category and give it a name and press add. So now we have a new category and we can add our service item. So you can first upload an image of what you want to represent this and attach it to this. You can also then give this a name and a description, put a price on this, and then choose a type of unit. And then when you're done, just hit save. And that's going to show up underneath that category. So to continue, we're just going to press the continue button and set up our time slots. So this is very simple. We're just going to add a time slot by pressing this add time slot button. We're going to choose our time frame. And then we're going to show what days of the week we want this available to be on. After that, you can also choose the soonest availability you want your customers to be able to book from you, same day or next day. And then when you're done, it's very important from this point out to hit save after you've made any changes on these pages. Now your time slots have been updated and we can press continue. This is your booking form. So this is the required fields that you want your customers to fill out before they can submit it to you. So you can choose which lines are visible which lines are required, and you can also make a custom form field to make your own question. And then you can, again, make it required for them to fill that out before they continue. Any changes that you make, make sure that you hit save and then continue. Now you can also make coupons. You would need to do the add coupon button and follow the prompts here. Coupon name, code, the percentage, when it's valid, and when you're done, hit save and then continue. Settings, this is one of your most important parts. This is how it's going to look on your online booking form. So if you want a title for your booking page, you can set that here. Things like instructions, a minimum price for your entire booking and what you want an alert to say if they don't meet that requirement, how many appointments per time slot you would like, how you want to be notified of a new booking, and you know, if you don't want to accept bookings during block times or if it overlaps with the calendar event. And if you want your customers to automatically be scheduled when they book for that time frame, you'll need to check this button here, auto schedule a work order. And that way you can assign a person to it and get that on the schedule. Going down, you can also add your Google Analytics tracking ID number on your website to keep that information in check. And finally, you can always turn this widget on or off at any time. So if you're on vacation for a week, you can just make it inactive. Of course, after anything that you do on this page, just make you sure that you hit save. And then we can continue. So now we're all done. Our booking form is all set up. So now you have the choice to either have this ingrained into your website with an iframe code or a JavaScript code. You can also make a clickable text link by using this URL instead. Anybody that views this URL will be able to be taken to your booking site. So you can always do things like print this out on flyers or cards as well if needed. So once you have this all set up, you can just view your booking page and see what all of your hard work looks like. So here it is, the items that we have set up with our different categories. And now they can choose how many of these and add to cart and then continue. So I hope this helped you out. Thank you so much for watching, and we look forward to working with you in the future. Have a great day.